This is Mark Recorian again from the U.S.-Mexico border. Right now we're in the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge. The water behind me isn't the Rio Grande itself, it's a, one of a series of tiny lakes that's kind of connected to the river, which is just beyond them, just behind them. And this is uh, you know, a wildlife refuge, it's a bird sanctuary mainly, and it's not developed. And there was actually controversy about whether to extend part of the border wall through the sanctuary. I don't, uh, that's at least not happening now, that's for sure. I'm not sure what plans there might be in the future. But when you look around at the wildlife and all of the plant life and everything, you can see this is a hard place to seal off as a border. You know, if you could get through here, uh, there are plenty of ways to get lost and eventually get to the road, because there's a road, a reasonably well-traveled, paved road, not that far from here and it underlines how border enforcement can't just be at the border. You need to make it hard for people to get to the border through Mexico. You need to make it hard where possible to get across the border, but you also need to make it hard to stay in the United States so it's less appealing to try to cross the border in the first place through things like E-Verify and more aggressive uh, immigration enforcement in the interior, which under the Biden administration has essentially come to an end. And so it's a useful lesson, it's a useful thing to see. The border isn't all just straight lines in the desert where you can put up metal barriers.